Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. Now then, at the back end of last year, a good friend of mine, Dave, invited me to drive his Z Cars Mini, a classic Mini with a Honda Civic Type R engine in the back. And that video is just about to hit 1 million views, my most watched video on the channel. So today, <laughs> today we have two more Z Cars to have a look at. They may well look like classic Fiat 500s, but you would be so wrong. Let me introduce to you the Fiat Busa and the Fubaru. This, <laughs> this is gonna be epic. So there is much to talk about with these two beautiful cars, so I'm going to actually do it in two videos. In part one, we're going to look at this, the Fiabusa, and in part two, we'll look at the beautiful Fubaru over there. So yeah, in front of me is what looks like a classic Fiat 500, or should I say Fiat Cinquecento, and the Cinquecento gets its name from the engine capacity, 500cc, although interestingly the original curb weight was around about 500 kilos as well. And they produced immense amounts of power, either 12 or 17 horsepower, or if you went for the SAS version, you might get that up to 37 horsepower. Not in this car. Oh no, the name Fiabusa may well give you a hint as to what's in the back of this car, as well as the Z car's complete madness when it comes to converting cars. In the back of this is a Hayabusa bike engine. <laughs> So, first of all, we've got an awful lot of power. We've got an incredible 11,000 RPM red line, but there's loads of really interesting engineering just to get a bike engine in the back of one of these things and to get it to work. So, let's have a wander around the back and look at the packaging and a few of the really interesting things about squeezing a bike engine into a classic Fiat 500. So, yep, yeah, in the back, we find a Gen 2 Hayabusa engine. 1340 cc and ready for this 197 horsepower a slight uplift from the 37 horsepower of the sas version but the interesting things are some obvious statements here motorbikes have a chain drive and cars generally don't and also motorbikes don't normally have reverse gears so how have they sorted out those two problems so this this is where all the magic happens. The top of the engine's up here, but the really interesting bit for me is just here. So clearly, normally on a bike engine, you'd have uh, a chain drive to the rear wheel, not in this car. So you've got a, a Quaif gear drive transfer unit in here with an integrated limited slip diff. And what that's doing is taking the drive from the bike engine and then feeding it down and eventually through a couple of drive shafts into the rear wheels. Bike engines don't normally have reverse gears unless you're looking at something really big like a Harley Davidson or something. So that's where this little actuator comes in and it's a really clever thing. So you basically put the car into first gear and there's a button on the dash that moves this actuator. And what it basically does is it takes first gear and changes its direction from forward to reverse depending on whether you want to go forwards or backwards. Really, really clever solution to not having that reverse gear. I love things like that though, but this car's all about that engine in the forward gears going up to the 11,000 RPM red line. I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be like to have nearly 200 horsepower going through the rear wheels of a Fiat 500. Uh, epic, I think is the word, but let's jump in the driver's seat and I'll just show you around the inside of the car because that's very cool as well. This car is so dinky. I don't know how Dave and I are going to fit in it, if I'm honest. But a couple of really interesting things here. It's got a bike engine, uh, and that means that it's not quite as straightforward to drive as a normal car. So it's got a six-speed sequential gearbox, um, but the way in which you drive that, so certainly in first to second gear, you're going to use the clutch, but once you've got a little bit of momentum in the car, and if you're higher up the rev range, then you can flat shift on the way up, 
but on the way down you'd still use the clutch. Um, in terms of the, the um, instrument binnacle there off of the Gen 2 Hayabusa bike, uh, I noticed that the uh, speedo goes all the way up to 180 miles an hour. This car's, the gearbox has a longer gearing just to make it a little bit more suitable for road driving, but that still doesn't dampen the acceleration. At the end of the day, we're talking about a car with massive amounts of power that doesn't really weigh a great deal. So I think the next thing to do is try and work out how on earth I'm going to fit cameras in here and me and Dave and we're going to go for a bit of a drive up the road and just experience this quite frankly bonkers car that I must say is a little bit intimidating as well. <laughs> now then mate, welcome back to the channel. YouTube. A bit of a squeeze. Welcome <laughs> Dave back to the channel. No mass this time, mate. No, no. Woohoo! Um, we have this habit of meeting in really, really small cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's half the fun, I think. It's <laughs> half the fun. So, um, Dave's going to have a bit of a drive first of all, and then if I'm a really lucky boy, I might be allowed to play of this thing because it is ridiculous. Why not? So, right. this isn't quite your car because we talked about your car. Mine's in the last video, yours is in build. Yes, I, I thought, we couldn't I thought we'd get some down to you before uh, September, so literally we're, we're hoping it should be ready fairly soon. Yeah. But a uh, bit of a way to go, but we're, we'll be there in the end. Right, so start-up procedure. So, ignition, and then you have to make sure she's in neutral. Here we go. That's it. So, you put it into first, basically. Yeah. And, uh, and then really slow uh, slow clutch yeah, just uh, behavior on the first couple of gears. Exactly, yeah, you just take it easy. It's sequential gearbox, so yeah. it's, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but yeah. I'm still getting used to it as yeah. well. So. But she, of course you just pull back, you don't kind of go through the eight track like you normally. Yeah. Thank you. 
noise of that is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, you've got that great sense of speed being low down to the ground. Yeah. Um, minis, we have a bunch of they're just made for driving slowly. Um, but you know, you've got that great sensation. If you're doing 40, you feel like you're doing 80. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the good thing about it. Wow. So you can drive sensibly, but you still feel like you're going 100 miles an hour. You know? <laughs> Yeah, you wouldn't want to. Yeah. That's it. It's so high revy. Oh, blimey. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about 
Well, that gear change will make it home tonight. It's lovely, isn't it? That is, that's magnificent. <laughs>